of intense preparation, game day has arrived in Dallas. The two squads have worked to both prepare their game plan and to come together as a team. With kickoff just hours away, the players filled their time in their own unique ways. We're in the room chilling before the game before we go beat Canada at the Dallas Cowboys Stadium, you know, a little pre-game warm up. Playing a little game, getting our minds right, visualize our assignments. Hey, John, bro, how you feel about the game today? I'm feeling great about the game. Like, I woke up and was just like, forget Canada. You know what I'm saying? We've been putting so much work. Dude, you gotta do better now. We've been putting so much work. I mean, right now, it's, it's a good Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Praise be to God, our Father. And, you know, we up, so we might as well go hard. We ain't come my way to Texas to take no L's now. While some prefer the company of others to stay loose, safety Braden Breeze prefers a more deliberate approach. I, got, I always recheck, triple check, quadruple check. Always got to have my chapstick, my eye black. Got some gum for after the game. Um, I've been thinking about a few celebrations <laughs> because I guess we're allowed to celebrate touchdowns or whatever. So. Um, thinking about doing the J.J. Watt surfing celebration. So, if I make a tackle or if I get a pick six or something, I'm going to dive in the end zone, be on the ground, do this, get up, surf, touch the wave like you're riding in the curl, do all that. Yep. <laughs> For head coach Sean Aguano and his staff, the morning of the game offers a chance to go over final details. I think you guys are going to be ready. I think you guys are going to be ready. I think you guys are going to do a heck of a job. Here's the deal. Big time players make big plays. It's tough because they're coming from different uh, head coaches. They come from different programs. Uh, they've been the stars all their lives and now they have to work out as a team uh, in a big game like this. The biggest thing for us guys is to make sure that we represent the United States well. On the field, physically and mentally, and then from a respect standpoint. The rhythms of pregame build in a constant crescendo, a gradual sharpening of the mind and narrowing of one's focus. Calm before the storm, the coaches remind their players of the gravity of the competition. Guys, we've talked all week about what we want to accomplish here, okay? We're, we're all Canadians, we're all proud Canadians, but where else would you rather be? You're playing football in Texas, Dallas Cowboys home, AT&T Stadium. I can't think of a better place I'd like to play. In about 18 minutes, we're going to kick off or receive. Now pay attention, you do not want to be the one. You do not want to be the one that doesn't make the big play. I'm proud of you, the coaching staff's proud of you, your parents are proud of you, your, your schools are proud of you. More importantly, your country's proud of you. You have an opportunity to do, to do what very few Canadians have done. And that's at the U19 level, beat the best football players in the world. The 50 guys that play USA football are the guys going to win. We need to focus. 
Don't get caught up in the glamour of the entrance. Don't get caught up in the glamour of the scoreboard. This is a work week. We just checked in. Our shift just started. We need to get this done. The USA across your shirt means a whole lot to a whole lot of people. And you're also playing for your family members and everybody else. David Solzman, Greg Tepper with you from AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. The 2016 International Bowl presented by USA Football. Make a play now, make a play. Watch the ball. Pass! Ball! Ball! Not enough time for Haskins to get the ball away. The sack. Take a deep breath, Brady. You got this. In boxing, it is often the fighter who flinches first that loses. Off the chest and on the ground, recovered by the USA. The U.S. looked to seize momentum. Dwayne Haskins back in a quarterback. Now on third down, intercepted, and nothing but green. Finally, Captain Thomas brought down in the red zone. Don't stress. Do your job, right? We missed a block on the lob that should have been out the gate. We missed a throw that should have been a touchdown. It's our mistakes. We can control it. But while the offense struggled, it was the American defense, led by linebacker Jonathan Jones, that came to the forefront. Jones on the blitz, and boy, was Bill Fior hammered as he got that ball away. And even when chances presented themselves, they seemed to be inches out of grasp. Going deep, and Starkle misses his man, and Muhammad Jabi, who was wide open on the flag rub. Take a deep breath, settle down, do your job, and let's go score right here, okay? And as the second quarter wound down, the U.S. made one final attempt at drawing first blood. Ball at the Canada 26 in the scoreless game. Starkle looking for Harry, and he's got him a touchdown! USA on the board, Nikhil Harry. The future Arizona State Sun Devil gives the USA a 6-0 lead. The half ended with the Americans clinging to a six-point lead. The narrow margin of the half gave the Canadians reason to hope. You want to talk about pressure? There's pressure in that other locker room. Guys, this room, you're 24 minutes away from beating the United States in football. 24 minutes away. While in the American locker room, there was no sense of panic. All right, real, real big one, guys. Let's make sure we execute. When we get this thing going first, we got to make sure we do our jobs, we will score this next time and get ourselves rolling. Let's get back on top. And as the second half began, the U.S. wasted little time in waking up. Haskins rolling out and firing back, and the catch made, and Hartman Jr. stepping into the end zone for the score. 13 nothing lead late in the third. Ball just ahead of the nine. Pressure and a beautiful grab, extending his hands. The touchdown. Kobe versus the Suns, Reggie versus the Knicks, Ori versus the Kings against the Glories in the game. Here's a nice catch made by Jabby at midfield. They go for it. Evans trying to turn the corner and will a first down and more. First set of downs for the U.S. and Haskins stepping up and trying to get away from Laco, he does. Now fires, and the catch made! And a touchdown! What a jump by Haskins, hanging in there! You win on three and then you break, your legacy is at stake. They got the floor taped off and the champagne in the crates. Then you stay your opponent in the face and you see MJ in 98. 53-yard field goal try, which is blocked. And now trying to lateral it, Canada does, but into the hand of the player in blue, Sherrod Thompson, and it's the USA that scores! While the game ended in a lopsided victory for the Americans, the experience proved to be far greater than the scoreboard. For the U.S. players, the game marks the end of one chapter in their football careers, and the beginning of another. But while their high school careers have now officially come to an end, they step confidently to the next level, knowing that no matter when they hang up their pants for good, football will always be with them for life.